Okay, it's Saturday and I've got that feeling that I need to go out and do some photography. So I've decided that I'm going to go to Auckland and I know a location in an area called Davenport where you get quite good views of Mount Rangitoto which is a old volcano in, in the harbour of Auckland. So I'm just giving my lens a bit of a, a, bit of a wipe before I take it up there. This is my camera bag, it's a f-stop tilopa, it's a very good bag, it comes with these compartments inside that you can take in and out and they're called ICUs and you can get different size ones, I quite like this bag. So I'm going to be taking my Mamiya 7 and I ordered some new film, so I've got some Fujifilm Acros 100 which is a black and white film and I've got a Fujifilm Provia 100F which is a colour slide film, ISO 100 and then I've got my usual Fujifilm 50 which is an ISO 50 so I don't know what I'm going to shoot today the weather is looking quite cloudy a bit patchy, some sun breaking through and yeah so I've checked the tide and the tide, the high tide is three hours before uh, sunset so I'm hoping to go up there and find some kind of nice rocks and stuff on the shoreline that I can use to lead in up to Mount Rangitoto. So I'm going to pack up and then get in my car and make my way up there. So I just arrived in Auckland, I just parked the car pretty close to where I think I can get access onto the beach and that's going to give me a good access into where I want to take photos of this Mount Rangitoto. I've got to find a composition yet so there's still a bit of time so I'm just going to have a quick look around and then see what we find. So I found a beautiful, beautiful beach just at the base of Davenport here but it's obviously been a location for, to, for today's beachgoers because there's footprints all over the place some quite nice rock features around here but I'm really struggling at the minute to try and find a composition that I like and I want to work with and I've got about 30 minutes worth of light left so the challenge is on <laughs> Okay, so we're in Davenport and just behind me here is a great big kind of old volcano, a big mound and it's actually the home to New Zealand's naval base and as you can see just behind me here, this is an old gun emplacement so during the Second World War, when the Allies were fighting Japan New Zealand built a naval base and put a gun emplacement on this hill just right here you can actually go up there and have a look around but that's a, that's a task for another day so I just came across this bunker and I just thought I'd quickly show you. So New Zealand does actually have a Second World War history, which is quite cool. Well, 
Well, that's getting a bit, it's getting a bit tight. This. I had to jump in my car then and move to a different location. I, I don't have any film loaded into my camera. I don't have a composition, and the sun's just about to go down. So it really is cutting it fine. I'm just on the beach here. I've got a possible. I've got a possible kind of composition just down the beach this way and another one just up this way. I can see some rocks in the distance but the question is which one do I go for? Uh, left or right? 50-50 chance. We're gonna go right. I'll see you down there. So I went right. I think it was the right decision. It seems like there's lots of geological kind of, I don't know what this is, <clears throat> it's kind of like the seabed that's got layers through it and it's quite interesting. I just need to try and arrange it now so that it leads into the mountain. So time running out so I've got to go. Okay so I've just set up my first shot here. I think I just got here just in time. The sun's already gone down and I'm now getting those kind of pink hues, the belt of Venus is trying to come through. So I put a, a roll of Fujifilm Velvia 50 in my camera and it's a Mamiya 7 and I've got a 50mm lens on the front with a three stop medium edge grad filter. So I'm just going to meter for the scene just quickly. So we've got eight seconds in the darkest area and half a second in the highlights. That's given me a range of three and a half stops, so we'll average that out. Plus one. So we're gonna do, we're gonna add one stop of exposure compensation, just because I wanna lift the mid-tone in the ground, so that's the area that's in front of me here. Just put the stopwatch on. Here we go, so. We've got four seconds. And with the reciprocity, that's five seconds. So here we go. That's it, first one done. Oops. So we've got a malfunction error here. I don't know what this is. Well, that didn't actually work then. I'm just going to make sure my lens is attached correctly. Yep, lens is on. Shutter's open. Power's on. We're going to have to meter the scene again now. So F11, we clear that. So 15 seconds. One second, still three and a half stops, average out. So eight seconds. Hopefully this works this time. It works this time. Phew. Although I missed we I think we missed an opportunity there because there's some nice colour then and it's gone. So. so I've just adjusted my composition a little bit because there's some nice clouds, like really one or two clouds just drifting in right above Ran Rangitoto, so I think it looks quite nice. So I'm going to do another exposure now. Clear the scene. 15 seconds in the darkest area. One second in the highlights. Average that out. So we're going to go plus one exposure compensation, so that's eight seconds. And with reciprocity, that's 12 seconds. So we'll do the same again. But I might try and work the scene here a little bit and see if I can get another composition. Come on. Okay, so I've just moved. I'm on a bit of a ledge here now, look, kind of looking down on this seabed. I can't describe what it is. It's kind of circular layers 
of the seabed. It's really interesting, it's just curling right into the volcano. So I'm just going to compose my shot and get another image. There's a couple of clouds just drifted in, so I'm trying to work with them a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to push the lens up so it catches the sky because these clouds are just coming in at an angle here. Right, we'll meet to the scene. We've gone down to F8 now because the foreground's quite far away and it's getting darker, which helps me with the exposure time. So 30 seconds in the darkest area now, that's getting down a bit. And two seconds in the brightest. Three stop dynamic range, average that out. It's giving me eight seconds. With one stop compensation, it's giving me 15 seconds. And with reciprocity, that's 28 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. And off we go. And that's it. So I think I'm gonna to move to another location now and see if I can find another one. I'll be back for you in a minute. Okay, so I've just set up for another shot here. It's a one minute, six second exposure, so I've already got it going. I set up, got it going, and I came to bring you in. I didn't want to miss the shot, so I hope you forgive me for that. Hang on a minute, let me just give you some... Ta-da! How's about that? Okay, so this one's nearly done. One minute, six seconds. So we're well into the blue hour now. So I might just try and do another composition quickly while the light's good. Okay, so I've just set up for my final composition here. <laughs> what an evening. This exposure is a two minute 30 exposure. So it should have been a minute, but because of reciprocity, I had to push it up to two minute 30. So I've got it going and now I'm gonna to talk to you. So you're gonna to have to put up with me bumbling on for a minute for a while while the, while the exposure goes along. Won't be too painful though, because we're one minute 30 in, so you've only got another minute to go. So it's quite a cool little spot here. I quite like photographing Mount Rangitoto. So I think it's got quite a unique shape. Um, you know, it's an old historic volcano in the in the in the in the Gulf Harbour of Auckland here in New Zealand. So I feel quite fortunate that I'm able to photograph this, and it's not too far from my house. Two minutes, only 30 more minutes worth of mumbling, and then you're good to go. So this is my sixth shot, so I'm really happy that I've been able to get six shots in today. Uh, considering where we were kind of 30 minutes ago, and we didn't even have a composition, and we came across this, so I'm just checking my stopwatch, and we came across this geological wonder that's been a real compositional tool for my shots. Oh, this is us, and that's it. So yeah, six shots done, feeling quite happy with myself, even though it was a little bit kind of chaotic there for a minute. I was kind of a little bit worried there that that one minute 45 drive up here from Hamilton was going to be a waste of time and a waste of money with petrol. But I stuck out in there and I stuck at it and I didn't give up hope and I found the shots. Although when you're shooting film, you never know until you send your film off to the lab and they send it back to you and you put it out on your light table and you see if you've been successful or not. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe you've learned a few things. If you'd like to support me, the best way you can do that right now is to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Please also check out my social media websites, primarily Instagram and Facebook. Please find my Facebook page, Stephen Milner Photography and please follow me on there. That'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm constantly, I'm constantly uploading things on there like images and tutorials. So it's worthwhile checking that out. 
and just get in touch, leave a comment down below. I'd love that. Send me a message on Facebook, I always reply. Yeah, so thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. See ya.